For Friday, March 14th, we do a spoiler cast about Dark Souls 2, without actually having played Dark Souls 2. Welcome to the 11th bonus level. I'm Dennis Furia. I'm Murph. And you are listening to The Level, a podcast for people who love video games. Uh, and you heard right, all of my co-hosts have uh, merged together into one better entity. Ah, <laughs> yes. Sure. Well, you so, see, I, I've invaded all of the um, of the Level podcasters, and I was able to defeat all of them except for uh, Dennis, because all of them are really bad at video games. Yeah, so we're, we're here, we're doing a Dark Souls spoiler cast, Dark Souls 2 spoiler cast, uh, it might be a little late for a Dark Souls spoiler cast. Oh, man, it's, it's super hard. I bet there's people out there who haven't beat it yet. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, Murph and I are really the only ones in our respective podcasts who are good at video games. Uh, we were able to get through Dark Souls 2 in about a night. Um, yep. You should feel very ashamed of yourself if you weren't able to beat it in a night because it's a super easy game. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's easier than Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah, it's easier than Dark Souls, and it's it's easy if you've got the skill level that we do. Well, right. I mean, we're both uh, bonfire side chat veterans. We've that's right. We've had uh, our skills. Exactly, exactly. So while everyone else is kind of muddling through, we thought we would uh, grace you with a spoiler cast. Well, maybe not at the beginning because we do. We you know not everyone is good as us. That's true. So we'll we'll spend a little bit of non spoilery time uh, talking about the game, and then we'll get into the spoilers. So um, in this in this opening section, we'll try to keep it spoiler free, uh, not talk about, um, talk about or. Oh, do you remember when? Your. No, we'll uh, we'll have to wait on talking about that one, but it was pretty impactful. Um, I, I, I cried. Yeah, the ramifications to and uh, to um, were were pretty interesting. So my was literally. And she's not even. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. We won't talk about any of the spoilers right, yeah. uh, up front. Just some generalities for the game, mm-hmm. and then we'll we'll get into the spoilers and and just kind of uh, you know discuss it in depth because I not only um, were we able to to finish the base game, we were able to kind of get through all the extra content. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah. it, there's a lot, and I mean, I'm I'm pretty tired. I got I'm chugging Monster Energy drinks as we speak, but yeah, you know, doing it for the people. <laughs> Yeah. So let's let's talk about some generalities for the game. Maybe not, you know, uh, you know, not so spoilery, but just kind of some of the mechanics of the game works. Do you want to do you want to start with the classes? Uh, yeah, let's start with there. Let's go. A, what'd you what'd you go with? First off, we would just get out of the way what, what we went Ooh. with. See, um, I I'm because I knew that I needed to get through this. I went with Sorcerer, which is the uh, it's similar to but not the same as the Sorcerer in the previous game. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, you know, it's spelled with the uh, source, like S O U R C E, which, ah, okay. which, yep. well, all spoilers. Well, why it's called that later. We'll get into that. Yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to. We'll talk about that. It's a would, matrix, we, we, matrix we should, ash. We should, we should probably bleep that. Yeah, name. yeah, we'll we'll bleep that. All right, <laughs> cut, cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> yeah, when we get to when we get to this, but but what what makes the sorcerer so so special? Oh, okay. Well, you see, um, so. We all know that the – oh, this is so hard without spoiling. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the – you remember the Nexus in the first game? Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's back. It's not called the Nex- with Nexus. It's called the Betwix, but you can kind of tell. <laughs> There's uh, a weird uh, Twix sponsorship. It's it's kind of <laughs> odd. Ruins, I mean, we'll, we'll get into it, but the, I, I was unhappy with that decision. Not the A Twix, the B Twix. Yeah. You know, the, well, they have the left and the right Twix. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. But the um, so the the sorcerer kind of literally uh, as as you attune spells, the um, the parts of the betwix or the nexus kind of either like fade in and out, which is can kind of um, it's sort of puzzly, but it also like oh, so you wanted you need access to this NPC, but this spell is really good against this boss, that sort of thing. It's kind of a yeah. trade off, risk reward. Well, I also understand that that class um, kind of opens up glitches in the game. So they, you know, based on your attunement, um, the, you get a an earlier or a later uh, version of the game. So if you, you know, if you get all the way to uh, Dark Souls 2 equivalent of Dark World Tendency, you're playing like a pre-alpha build. Yeah, it's um, it's like it's just kind of squares. 
Like, yeah. It's, have you ever played Thomas Was Alone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of it's like that, but without the narrative. Well, if, yeah. If the narrative's sort of like hidden. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all and all the squares kill you, no right. matter what you do. Oh yeah, like it's not cooperating with other your other squares. It's killing your other squares. <laughs> yeah, and there's it, there, there's some very interesting uh, speedrunning applications to that because obviously if you can get to uh, Dark World pre-alpha mode mm. uh, quick enough, there's plenty of glitches that you can um, right can exploit. And this is this is in the main game as well, but it's really apparent in this glitch, and that's how we we kind of noticed at first. But you know, <laughs> Dark Souls is um, is based off you know D and D. It's very heavily inspired, mm-hmm. and uh, fourth edition D and D. One of the like weird kind of like things they did for simplification is every square that you move is you know one one space, if you will. Yeah. So so like a that means going diagonal is the same di- distance as going straight, if you follow. Mm-hmm. So that means that you actually move faster because you've covered more distance if you go, you know, v- uh, diagonally. And this is true in Dark Souls as well. Dark Souls too, yeah. Dark, Dark Souls too, yeah. So you interesting addition. Speedrunners should always be moving on the diagonal. Yeah, it's got like that. Um, was it Ocarina of Time where you move fast- faster if you're locked on to a character and backing away from them or whatever? Yeah, like, right. It's it's kind of that feel. It's very odd. It's very yeah. It's it's weird. And but I mean, the combat applications are really. I guess important because you know dodging, you know, is great in this game. Yeah, dodging is yeah, still the, king. Dodging is definitely still king. So they, what's interesting to me, and uh, it will, this is still kind of non-spoiler uh, territory because it's it's mechanics, is uh, they went way beyond just kind of your your light role and your fat role and your medium role. Mm, mm-hmm. um, now they've got the uh, the kung fu role. Which uh, what, what knife was that? That if you had it in the in the original game, you did kung oh. fu flip. Was it, it was a knife or a ring or yeah some I can't don't remember yeah so it's it's the kung fu roll is is right. like that all the time <laughs> um, right and then you've got your you've got your Rick roll oh uh, yeah that's uh, uh, you distract distract all your enemies well, with uh th- you know the Rick roll is it's cursed because once you put it on you can never give it up. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not proud of that. <laughs> Can we just acknowledge that? Just... <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I um, mm, mm, yeah, mm. can't can't ever give it up. But yeah. uh, it's uh, it's it's effective. Yeah, it um, is. It's um, it's super effective. It's so I'd, I'd love to talk about uh, about my class. Yeah, go go right. Yeah, I, I'm sorry we we kind of got got off the. Class. Well, no, no, no it's it, it's fine, obviously. Um, but uh, I went with the uh, sniper class. Nice. I yeah, I, I was tempted. Yeah. Like, so I, I only I didn't really I you know since I only you know focused on the sorcerer. Yeah. What what's the the key mechanic on the sniper class? Uh, I, I would say that the fifty cal. Um, oh. Features okay. heavily. Wow. Yeah. I see. I just when I in the loading screen, it, he's just got one of those um slingshot kind of things. I was just not impressed. Yeah. So it, yeah, that's that's kind of what they start you with, but um, that also gives you. Um, the key to um to one of the chests at the beginning of the tutorial. Oh, I, um, that's comes why with I, it as well. I couldn't like sorcerers. You know they're very weak. They can't jump. And I was just like, all right, I'm gonna try and do the uh, the jump. You know mm-hmm. the you know Dark Souls has, which is you know it's not a platformer, but you can jump. Sorcerers yep. cannot jump. They're like elephants. Yeah, well, especially if you get it to the pre-alpha, they hadn't built it in. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and <laughs> sorcerers do do tend to get that far. Yeah, very yeah. quickly. So okay, so the fifty cal. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, they they. Uh, I, I honestly thought it was kind of weird that they went that direction. That they started incorporating yeah. uh, modern guns into the game. Um, that is kind of the, the whole timey wimey thing, I guess. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I I was I was all like when I, my timey wimey stuff happened. Like the farthest I ever got was uh, you know uh, what was the invasion of the Moors um, like twelve ninety two when they finally fought them off like yeah obviously I, obviously i'm not in europe but i yeah <laughs> I, all the npcs were like man did you hear about all that stuff that's happening over there in europe and i was like oh lord Iran is like it's in the real world which is oh, yeah I, well now we're now we're getting into spoilers I, here, so I, I, we really remember to beep that no i you know let's let's just roll with it this is a loose okay. podcast so we'll, is... we'll start incorporating the spoilers there okay all right well, yeah but um but you know yeah 50, 50 cal sniper rifle. So, um, how how long did it take you to beat the first boss? Because it took with the sorcerer, I I had to, I kind of cheesed it, and I you know using all of my my sorcery 
mm-hmm. took me about an hour. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, for mine though, I, I had a kill streak going because that's the other feature that goes with the uh, the okay. sniper class. What? Or it, it really any of the the uh, Call of Duty inspired classes, which okay. I okay. That's, you know, there there are several of them. Um, disheartening. Okay. Yeah, Go yeah. Ahead. But uh, you know, I had a nice little kill streak going. I was able to um, call in a uh, an airstrike on him. Um, <laughs> took him about halfway. No, what, was it in a it was a dragon or a, a Drake or what? Like a, a fifty? Like what kind of what kind of thing? Airstrike? Yeah, it was a uh, it was a you know a, a Tomcat fighter. Oh. Um, Wow. Okay. Is that a fighter name? I'm just going to – I don't even know if that's a fighter name. I mean it seems F- like it. F-22? Is that a plane? That's a plane. It was, it was a warbird of some – you know, it was an actual actual plane, which again, it felt out of place, but it was very, very effective. I guess that's where your, your tiny-wimey-ness just – Yeah, and you kind of you see him come through the time portal and – and then go, but it costs you. It costs you a cracked red eye every time. I mean, like I every time I cast a spell, I had to use a cracked red eye. Oh man, really? Yeah, it's um, uh, intense. Yeah, hmm. Yeah. Like I mean, I had to grind those for like you know four, five. Like most of my time was spent grinding. So you really, you just kind of wow. All right. Anyway, yeah. So hmm, seems like sniper. Was really the uh, the way to go. It was a little little bit op, yeah, yeah. So I've uh, I've been I've gotten well again part probably part of the reason I was able to beat the game all the way. I mean, um, yeah, wow. I mean, just popping popping headshots off there. I mean, knowledge is power, right? Yeah, yeah. technology. So so is a fifty cal. That is also very powerful. <laughs> uh, any any other classes <laughs> that uh, that are are, um, well, are are worth to, worth mentioning here? So like the, all your the classics are back. The deprived is there. Yeah. Uh, there's also the depraved, which mm-hmm. is a little bit different. He's um, he kind of just like whenever you try and move, he's just like, no, I just want to go party, and I I kind of wasted. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was my first character, but it's just not workable. Yeah, well, the the trouble with that too is that he won't let you access the start menu. Yeah, he's like, like so I, rebellious that uh, he won't let you quit the game. I had to, I like it. It hard locked the uh, the power button because I have a PS3. Mm-hmm. And I literally had to go to the breaker and shut off the, uh, the, you know, the power, and then you know that you know reset the fire alarm. And then they woke up my dogs, and my wife yelled at me. I mean, I talk about prepare to die, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, tough. Actually, speaking of prepare to die, did you? How many of the uh, the, the death messages did you? Uh, death message. Wow, I can't talk. The death messages did you unlock? Uh, I I'm not sure. So they're still discovering them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. That's, that's the one area of the game that I I, I uh, did not fully explore, um, but I got thanks Obama, and that was kind of my my default. <laughs> that's a that's a good one. Um, I got uh, Cleveland Rocks. Uh, was okay, my, the first one I got, which was interesting. I mean, I'm not from Cleveland, and I I don't really like Drew Carey, but I you know it's better than yeah, you died. So yeah, it's it's better than I, I've heard. There are some that are multiple paragraphs long that you kind of have to scroll through to get back in the game. So oh, wow, like at um, least at least Cleveland Rocks is short. Yeah, it's true. Like um, there's the Gettysburg Address. Yeah, but yep. it, it's it's fully voiced and in real time. And it, I did it once, and it it I mean you can't you it has to finish. Yeah. So yep. I mean Lincoln was a was a legendary spokesman, and it's I mean it's short, but still. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's it's in keeping with the uh, with the the Dark Souls ethos, where you know death really has a consequence. You have to wait to get that, but exactly. it's ultimately it's ultimately rewarding because you you come away with a really edifying speech there. Right. And, uh, it's it's sort of like with the the tower, um, the Underlander archers, when you have to walk all the way back and you just you get that you know thinking mm-hmm. of man, okay, then what am I going to do better this time? Yeah. Four score and seven tries ago. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Like, um, I think if I hold on, let me. Uh, it looks like the number's up to sixteen that uh, everyone's found so far. Okay, gotcha. So nice. well, I'm I'm a, I've only got five, so I'm a bit behind. Yeah, well, it's you know, it's a it's a user generated content thing too as well, where um, you know the the winners of the contest get to add one. There's there's Hi Mom, I saw that one. Oh, that's, like a waste. That's, that's yeah. Eh, I mean, you know, it, it's in contrast to the person who gave you life and now now death. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's it's very poetic in a way. Um, but yeah, uh, like also, it, I I it was really surprising because I thought they were gonna make those into shields. But you know they they flipped this you know Dark Souls 
Yeah, it was weird. Because that one one is just a series of bloody handprints. Yeah, that's uh, that was a little odd. weird. Very odd. Yeah. I, well, I mean, speaking speaking of shields, the uh, the gendered armor sets are back. Yeah, which I, which I thought was interesting. Uh, not only gendered armor sets, but uh, gendered shields as well. Right, because you know, ladies are yeah. you know they have weaker hands and they're more you know left handed dominant. Like as a left hander, I I don't think that's true, but you know, mm-hmm. it's Dark Souls. Well, it's it's like the uh, the Bic for ladies uh, pens, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Making the rounds, so they've got they've got the uh, the swords for ladies and the shields for ladies because um, you know, you're right. It's it's just a it's a daintier set of armor, uh, and daintier daintier weapons. Right. So I mean, that was I I was not really comfortable with that, so I just kind of picked a male character. So, yeah, it was an odd odd decision. It also, you, you want to talk about uh, uncomfortable. How about the uh, the prepare to kiss system? Yeah, like what did you? So I guess several people from Bioware were, were brought on staff because mm-hmm. well, Bioware is known for their just really kind of subtle and um, nuanced romance systems. Like anyone who's played Mass Effect Three. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, I actually haven't played Mass Effect Three, so I don't know yeah. if that's a serious no, reference no, or not. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah. <clears throat> if, if if anything is subtle and nuanced, I mean, right. Dark Souls is that way. So exactly. So per- perfect fit. So I guess they're the not every NPC, but most NPCs are romanceable. Mm-hmm. Um, like the Crestfallen Warrior. I mean, he's not called the Crestfallen Warrior. It's a different guy, but you know the the it's, equivalent. It's, yeah, downhearted Bob. Down- <laughs> Right. Which is, it's actually a reference to, uh, to Bob Mackie. Yeah, um, right. Oh, yeah. Of, uh, so the Retronauts. He's, they, you know, they really put, like, in the Kingsfield games, are actually bringing in the community to, uh, yeah, exactly. Yep. For the name. Uh, so there's, there's Downhearted Bob. You can romance him. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he talks about how hard it is to, uh, to make a living in an industry that has, uh, kind of become very cynical and, and sell outy. Mm hmm. And um, it's interesting. Like so, if you romance him, he doesn't go hollow. And if you don't, if you do romance him, he still goes hollow, but he tries to kill you. Yeah, that's which how you, I, you know that's his way of showing he cares. Right. I mean, that's how you get the drop, which is you know all romance is about what you get out of it. Yes, of course. Um. <laughs> um. So yeah. 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 Um, so then there's um. But right. But the the interesting thing is it's not how um. It's not how you talk to you know, people, which is I always found unrealistic in the you know the Mass Effect and the Dragon Wars. We're like, oh here, let me talk to you some more. Talk, 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 talk. Oh now you like me. It's more yeah. because it's Dark Souls. It's how you die in front of them. Yeah, which is interesting. Right. So like the um, the Big Hat Logan character, I can't quite remember his name. Um, the Magic Mike. Mag- oh yeah, it's Channing Tatum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, big, big fan. Um, but, uh, big fanny. Oh, uh, he, uh, he, he is like one of those weird, um, spell casting dudes. So he likes it when you use your spells to basically backfire on you and it, it kills you in front of him with magic. Yep. Uh, really? there's, uh, patches actually likes it when you throw yourself off a ledge for him. Right. That's, I, I, that was probably the easiest one. Cause he is sort of, I mean, it's dark souls. So, yeah, most of the, my deaths were ledge related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, um, what uh, what about um, the uh, the executioner? Uh, what's her name from the from Demon Souls? Oh, from Execution- De- um, Meralda. Meralda. Um, oh, her equivalent. So, oh, Felicia 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 dead. Felicia dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I I didn't really I couldn't understand her. I it, I didn't really I didn't get her. Who did you get her? No, and I thought it had something to do with maybe, like, the pit of bodies, and so I just kept on throwing myself in that. Yeah, but then patches um, would show up, and... You... Yeah, and that was weird, because it yeah. created this really weird uh, triangle. And she would, I yeah. think I, what, I, what I understand from it is that you actually have to bring someone in for co-op and then kill them in front of her, like okay. execution style. But, I, you know, people know what's up, because that's you know, everyone's trying to right. do it. Yeah, okay. She has, she has the, obviously, the best drop. Um, right. When you when you win her over, so it, it was it was hard to get someone gullible enough to to be able to do that. Right. Um, so that's a that's that's the the, uh, the dating system that's in there. Prepare to kiss. Um, interesting choice again. Not sure how I feel about it, but um, yeah, um, you know it is what it is. It is. 
Uh, you know, talking about obscure uh, systems, uh, the the crafting system is uh, interesting. Yeah, now, crafting and the upgrades. Since I, I was a, a sorcerer, so I got to upgrade my. Well, I got to enchant my spells. Yeah, and then, well, it goes it goes way deeper than that. So oh, right. I'll lay down the knowledge on you. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Because you so here's, you, have, you have that fifty cal. Yeah, exactly, and you could you could upgrade that out the wazoo. Okay. Um, and you actually the final upgrade was it you just wrote wazoo on the side. <laughs> uh, custom custom skins. Nice. Um, you can get more custom sk- uh, skins, but they're microtransactions. Anyway, crafting yeah. crafting system. Um, so here's here's how the upgrades work. All right. So you collect splints, and okay. those are used to upgrade shards. Okay. Wait, um, so so splints are like the shards from Dark Souls. Kind of yes. Okay. They're, they're a little more. Um, a little more common than that. You'll get a lot of a lot of splints from all enemies. Uh, those are u- used to upgrade shards. Okay. Um, shards are used to upgrade to hunks if you can combine enough of them. Okay, so like the the Titanite hunks from the demons. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, hunks then can be merged to form alloys, right? Okay. Which I was probably, wondering. There's yeah. A, there's a guy who's like some NPC was like, give me an alloy, and it's like, I don't know where these alloys are. Like I have all these hunks and I have all these splints. And I never really yeah. got like the connection between the two. Felicia, well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do that merging at Felicia dead. So uh, uh, okay. she also kind of served as the the trainer for that. Uh, but you can you can merge hunks into alloys. Alloys then you can actually break down into splints or change them into crystals, depending on what you want to do. So right? wait, which one? Which way do you go then? Because I. I just, yeah, I I was um I I was very focused on getting this thing upgraded, so I did not do a lot of splints to uh or excuse me alloys to to um splints. Okay. Went a lot of alloy to crystal, um, which crystals can be upgraded with hunks. So you use hunks to upgrade crystals. So, but wait, but, I'll go back. So the hunks. All right, okay, I'll let you go ahead. Go ahead. Gotta, yeah, well, you got to keep some hunks around. They can't all be alloys because when you get the alloys to crystals, then you need hunks to upgrade. Okay. He, or, yeah. Now, so there's. I, so I know there was. A, I found at least seven types of splint: uh, poisonous, virus, mm-hmm. iceous, uh, gaseous, gaseous, plasmaticus, um, yep. dedicus, and duplicitous. Duplicitous, yeah, duplicitous junk. And then I think I someone mentioned a, a Nicholas Cageus, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, that was. I'm sorry. That's that's a real bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll there, take it. I'll there, can't, take... there can't be eight types of shards. I mean, come on. No, no, only seven. Yeah. Um, but you upgrade the crystals with the hunks okay. uh, that come from the shards, which came from the splints. Uh, and you cannot upgrade crystals with the splints that they break down into. Um, once you get enough crystals, um, you can upgrade them into a crystal shard, which is different than a regular shard because oh, okay. it can use it can be used to create an enchantment. So you could you um, could have you could have an Iceous shard uh-huh. and a an Iceous crystal shard, but you can't upgrade a, sh- a you can upgrade. You're trying a, so hard not to say shard right now. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was, so. You can you can upgrade an Iceous splint or use an Iceous splint to upgrade an Iceous shard, but you can't use an Iceous shard to update a crystal Iceous shard. Correct. Yeah. Very simple. Very okay, simple. Yeah. Okay. I got it's, it. Yeah. A little bit. It's a little bit more complicated than Dark Souls, but it is significantly easier still than the upgrade system in, in Demon Souls. Okay. I think we can all agree to that. Yeah. That's that's very true. Um. So, but then enchantments is probably where you spent most of your time. I, yeah. I spells. did. Right. Um. But then uh, the the kind of final thing here is that you know you can use alloys to uh, make enhancements. So going back down the tree to alloys, I, you can I, just. Wait, but I used I used my hunks to make the enchantments. Interesting. Really? I, I, wait, did you say enhancements or enchantments? Because well, the the hunks enhance enchantments and the crystals enchant enhancements, right? Uh, okay, that yeah, you know, that that's kind of intuitive. I yeah. I should have got that. All right, makes yep. sense. So so still still easier than uh, than uh, Demon Souls. Okay, but, uh, that's, I, that's I, kind I, of the upgrade system. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Let's see here. Let's see what what else is the next uh, next good stuff to get to. I'm trying to think. Uh, probably, I mean, uh, Dark Souls is all about frustration. So, do we want to talk about our most frustrating moments in, uh, in Dark Souls Two? Or do we want to do we want to do like a, a a quick like breakdown? Like we're full spoiler territory, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been full spoiler. Yeah, full, okay. So, like, maybe we just... lied about actually doing we, uh, you know, a spoiler free area. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, most, most frustrating moment of the the game for you. Okay. Um. So, all right. There was 
there's this boss, right? And he, he's, you know, he's large, uh, takes up most of the screen, kind of demonic. I'm like, yes, this dude looks awesome. And I'm like, I go up to attack him. I'm like, ah, ah. And every, like, he would just immediately, like, parry, counterattack dead. Like, yeah. Shit. Yep. So I'm, I'm thinking, all right, maybe I need to get up on top. Maybe I need to, you know, you know, just, it's some kind of gimmick thing, right? Maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, turns out he is not actually a boss. Um, just kind of an NPC you should talk to. Uh, ah, yep. And that, unfor- is, that is the, the giant, giant blacksmith. Right. Um, he unfortunately does kind of look like, uh, you know, the Capra demon. Yeah, which is which is weird. The blacksmiths are all uh, various forms of demons. Yeah, which uh, – but, I mean, there are other demons with – you know, because they reuse art assets because, you know. I mean, it's it's like a circle or, excuse me, a square and a rectangle thing where, you know, not – all all blacksmiths are demons, but not all demons are blacksmiths. Right, exactly. Very, very yeah. confusing. You know, Kiln of the Second Flame is yeah. where that happened. And uh, But the problem yeah, is you know, that's, that's like five hours in, and I aggroed him, and so I kind of oh, had, yeah. I, I had, kinda I'm, had I'm to impressed. restart. You know, like, this is my third time restarting, because, you know, yeah. first with, with the depraved. And the then depraved, the, yeah. The, the sorcerer like, the first time. Yeah. Sorcerer, that's I mean, tough. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Actually, though, you can date him. So if you would, instead right. of trying to attack him, uh, the giant, giant blacksmith, uh, you could have dated him uh, oh. with the prepare to kiss system. That would, that one also works out for you. I didn't even see. That's why you know I was just a little too bloodthirsty. Yeah. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe you shouldn't kill everything. It's, maybe, yeah. Come on. Maybe, the, the world you ever think people? I mean, the world is not quite so dark. No. No. Anyway. Love. There's room for love. Uh, <laughs> For me, yeah. For me, yeah, what, what was it yours? Had, yeah, it, it had to be um, the new mechanics for Curse, mm. um, which you know now uh, you know in the in just the base game, every time you die, you kind of get the curse effect from from Dark Souls, right? Where your right. your health gets cut. So they had to think of something extra new and special, mm-hmm. um, which is your your movement speed gets halved. Yeah. See, I just I was not happy with that. Because you get cursed twice in a row, and you're you're moving at quarter speed, and it, especially you know your attack animations all move at a quarter speed, uh, very very uh, you know game breaking, right? You know, well, in I a mean, bad way. I, like as a sorcerer, I I just couldn't afford to do it. Like I would I would just you know tr- quickly switch off the game because you know, I, as I said, they can't even jump. I can't even imagine like they'd mm-hmm. probably be like stoop over like a hunchback. So did you actually yeah. get cursed? I did. I, I got cursed. Oh um, no! Yeah, so I went to half speed, and then of course trying to get my trying to get my blood stain. I got cursed again. Was moving at a quarter speed. Oh, um, how did and, you how did you get to Zeno for his paradox? Yeah, it, it was just a <laughs> lot of walking. A uh, lot of walking. I mean, it's, it seems like you could just never always half. Yeah, I'm it was, gonna, it was I'm very gonna tough. Beat this joke into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, I'll take it. Uh, uh, so that that was that was probably the most frustrating aspect of mm-hmm. the. Uh, yeah, that. Yep. So good. So mm-hmm. good. Um, so yeah, what did yeah. you think about that end boss sequence? What, uh, I mean, it was all quick time events. Very, yeah. Very well, interesting decision. Well, I mean that. I mean, I was talking about um, the thing just before the quick time events. Sorry, the the extra mode it unlocked as well. Oh yeah, so the, the it actually unlocks a couple of modes. Right. Yeah, uh, so you got yeah you've got you've got your dark souls mode mm-hmm. uh, and then you go to you can go to medium souls or light souls yes. which is really if you if you just want to play for the story and for the lore right like um uh, like in Mass Effect three they have uh, there's like the um you know I just want to fight things mode I can't quite remember the name yeah and there's also the uh, you know, there's just a, just tell me the story mode which eh, not not for me I mean mm-hmm. I. I, I it's I don't want to play Gone Home again ever. <laughs> yeah, because obviously that game sucked. God. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. your uh, you know your your uh, medium souls is uh, is kind of that just want to fight things and um, it kind of all the lore is is right there on the page for you. Oh yeah. Which is which is weird because every time you enter an area, it just kind of dumps all the lore. Oh yeah, um, it's on a you. Huge tech, like literally, it falls on you and you die. Yes, it's you know, one of one of the great traps. So, if you if you're able to kung fu roll right. uh, or rick roll um, right as you enter a new area, you got to look for those those you know the title coming up on the screen that tells you the new area you're walking into, uh, and and roll right as you see that, and that's mm-hmm. how you dodge it. it um, yeah, 
<laughs> and and so you know it's easy to get there. Yeah. Uh, and then then light I mean, souls. And if you did you did you have the volume turn up because you can after uh, if, after you dodge the the plot dump it says let's get this plot rolling. <laughs> Ah, yeah. yeah it's, no, I, I didn't know about like that. In, like in, uh, you know, in like Mortal Kombat where it was like, Toasty! It's like, get this plot rolling! Yeah, exactly. It, which, uh, again, weird weird decision, but I like it. Uh, you know, like it. yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's that's kind of the plot dump. And then and, and then Light Souls is for people who want to really look for the story. So all the all the enemies are removed. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and you just have to find items. It's it's really kind of, it is it is kind of gone home. Yeah, it, it, like... Yeah, I mean, especially with the the romance system. Well, I mean, uh, well, no, we don't want to spoil Gone Home, do we? No, 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 no. spoilers for Gone Home. I mean, but uh, it's uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Romancing the ghosts was a weird mechanic. That was weird. I was, was not sure about that one. Mm. I, I I mean, I think we've talked out pretty much well uh, every section of the game except for except for the one biggest new system edition. Yeah, that <laughs> this is great. Yeah. So uh, the Dark Souls 2 comes with a uh, an incredibly deep kart racing system, it, isn't it? It's um it's sort of styled off of uh, Little Big Planet 2 kart racing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, where you know there's sort of customizable maps because you know Dark Souls is about player yeah. generated content. Of course, it's what it's always been about. Right. You know, building that level and setting difficulty to your your level. Yeah. Uh, of course, it comes it comes with a with a, a, a very um, well developed complement of standard developer levels right. that are that are themed after areas of the game. So my uh, my personal favorite is the Blight Town track. Yep. Oh, uh, which is <laughs> yeah, it's it's all just through the mire. So yes. your cart moves incredibly slow. Um, it takes about thirty minutes to get around one lap, but it's just a big circle. I mean, I I did it, and I it was I, I, it was a laugh riot the entire time. Yeah, it really it gives you space for that tactical thinking when you're moving so slow. Mm-hmm. Really and, have to pick your lines because I mean the AI is not all that great, so they would no. just get poisoned and then just like you know um, the uh, the cloud Taurus demon the, they put him in the cloud and he has his little fish hook mm-hmm. uh, and he would just yeah. kind of well instead of like a fish hook it's more of an axe and when you you sort of died he would just kind of slam it into your chest and like pull yeah. you back to the finish line. So that was always funny when one of the other racers would die right in front of me, which happened a lot. Yeah, yeah, it definitely living up to that prepare to die um, <laughs> mantra. The um, they also had a lot of fun little kart racer kart, kart racer weapons mm. um, themed after items from the game. So my favorite was the uh, the Lloyd's talisman, <laughs> which uh, which in the game you know it keeps people or in, in Dark Souls it uh, it kept people from regenerating uh, health, mm-hmm. and in the kart racing mechanic of Dark Souls two it keeps people from regenerating speed. So, you know, if, yeah. if you hit them while they're going fast, not not a really big deal for them. But if you hit them while they're, you know, breaking for a turn or right after they've been hit by someone else, uh, they can't accelerate, which is uh, – combine that with the Blight Town track. And you can you can pretty much just be mired in the mud having the Taurus Demon slam you into the earth again and again. See, my favorite were the were the crystals. So there was the okay. the, the red crystals, which sort of you know homed in. You found well, them. is this is this crystals or the crystal shards? No, this no no. This was the actual like the I'm sorry, the red eyes cracked. The the the, 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 the um, they're the the same items that engage with multiplayer in in the previous game. Yeah, cracked red eye. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so the cracked red eye, you know, homes in sort of like the red tortoise shell, and then the blue cracked eye, uh, you know, finds the person in first place and just completely <laughs> annihilates them. But then the white one, that was weird. Like it, it boosts their speed. I'm not quite sure why you would do that. Yeah, very weird. Or shoot, did I did I get my crystals mixed up? <laughs> well, you know, because you, you, you're you're talking about the crystal shards oh, as well as the, you're, or wait, no, right. you're talking about the actual crystals from the game. Okay, so okay. What yeah. is the white crystal? White crystal. I don't remember. Yeah. Is that summoning? White crystal is summoning. Yeah. So I did. Okay, I did get that right. No, white soapstone is summoning. Okay, so soap. So there's the crystal hunk and the silpstone. If you right. combine those two, it gets kind of frothy. Then yeah, you get a frothy alloy. Right. Okay. And that <laughs> that that'll that gives you plus against ogres. Yeah. <laughs> the, the ogre class is one we didn't touch on. We'll yeah, have to come back. To yeah, I think yeah maybe maybe for a bonus because I could I could do a whole podcast on the ogre class. Yeah. Yeah, especially the the implications to the cart racer. Ex- mm. That was like, uh, there. There's some deep lore in the ogre cart racing. Yeah. Racing lore. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's a, it's a, it's, it's all kind of. You got to fish, and we'll, we'll let the bonfire side chat people kind of. Yeah, this do is that this us. is not a deep dive. 
No, no, not at all. We we're just we're just scratching the surface. Um, <laughs> now, so you go see, ahead. yeah, I was gonna say. Well, speaking of scratched, um, <laughs> what did you think about the the probably most controversial decision hmm. of uh, it, they just kind of I mean they just took out multiplayer. Oh yeah, that was that was really interesting. I mean, it's it's kind of annoying. Like I I usually just plug off, take you know, take it offline because mm-hmm. you know, and when I'm playing Dark Souls one, because you know, I don't want interaction. You don't like it, yeah, you don't want to get like, grief. You don't want to deal with other people. Yeah, like I mean, sure you could summon like Solaire or something, but like, eh, I, I kind of like it this way. It's better. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's Dark Souls has always been about that kind of sense of isolation and terror. And um, there's there's no better way to do it than to really literally force you to be isolated. Mm-hmm. And in fact, I heard that the Xbox um, the One version, or excuse me, the Xbox version, mm-hmm. um, it it syncs up with your Connect, and if someone else enters the room while you're playing, it just shuts off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it makes it it makes it really hard to get the drop from Felicia dead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. That's I, that's why we never got it. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's why that's why we were unable to get it. Uh. <laughs> oh, all right. So yeah, those are those are the major systems for the game. I um I think the one thing that we need to discuss then. So that's um I mean we we hit all the high points, the new classes, um we hit kind of uh, the new kind of crafting system and, and dating system, the cart racing, um kind of some of the the interesting areas, standout areas, frustrating areas, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think. Uh... I think that about does it. Do you want to talk about the uh, the Dark Souls 2015 trailer after oh, the credits? Oh man, that's gonna okay. Yeah, and it's just it's just you know you're you're really zoomed in on something. You're really really zoomed in. It's coming out. It's coming out, and all of a sudden you see ah, oh, it's the 50 cal sniper rifle. And there's right. just a guy that says Wazoo, and then cut to black. Dark Souls 2015. Oh, see, mine mine. I guess because I was the sorcerer. Oh, did you get a different version? Yeah, it, it um it was kind of in so it kind of zooms out and you're like it's all, it starts out white mm-hmm. and then um it it's uh it zooms out to a Comic Sans uh font of just Dark Souls 2015. Oh, so it's it's kind of the pre-alpha trailer. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I see that's where they're going for. Kind of picked the wrong class. Yeah. And like like I said, it's a good class for speedrunners though, which uh Yeah. So you, you, it's interesting that you know they they build it with those trade offs. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Um, well, good. Yeah, yeah, good, good. I'm glad we we talked about. Uh, I'm glad we were yeah. good enough at video games to finish it I, so fast yeah, and be able I'm, to do this. Ooh, I'm, I think we we totally scooped uh, Cole, Gary, Ben, and uh, David. Yeah, they uh, they need to be better at video games. They, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank thank you for joining. Yeah, no, this no. is a very enjoyable crossover episode. We're going to yeah. have to do more stuff like this. Exactly. Yeah. Um. We'll have to have you on Dork Night at some point. Oh, I'd, I'd gladly do it if I could find the night. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, yeah. Should we? Uh, shall we sign off? Yeah. So um, we. Well, first off, before we do that, thank you so much for coming on. Do you want to? Uh, do you? We mentioned your podcast. Do you want to oh, kind of yeah. talk about what you do, where people can find you? So yeah. Um. I, I, like we said, I have there's Dork Night, DorkNight dot com, also on Facebook. Uh, I also have another solo project, uh, hours played, five minute video game reviews, um, oh. going alphabetically through my Steam list. Uh, or I think what, what did we just, um, we just did Back to the Future by Telltale. Oh, cool. Okay. Don't play it. Uh, oh, not cool. Okay. <laughs> that's that's the uh, that's the three three second review. But uh, I'm about to do the. <laughs> by the time this comes out, maybe the Bard's Tale episode will be up. So. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. What uh, what what series of games are you dreading most in alphabetical Ooh. order? Like, do you have a bunch of RPGs all together? Like, you know, Knights of the Old Republic, Knights of the Old Republic Two, and and all that I, stuff. I, well, that that, would, that wouldn't be bad. To play no, that that wouldn't be bad. I think the worst patch will be the Sid Meier Civilization. Oh God! Because I okay. bought the the Sid Meier Civilization patch or uh, bundle, which is just like huh? five Sid Meier Civilization. <laughs> We might uh, we might do something else. Fudge fudge that one. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then for for kind of uh, for the level, um, obviously you can find us on Facebook as well. You can uh, find us on Twitter. We'll give my handle at the end of this because mm-hmm. uh, I'm the one who's here because I'm good at video games. Exactly. Um, but you can also find us at uh, duckfeed.tv slash level. Uh, you can find all of our shows on duckfeed.tv. Um, there's there's a bunch of great stuff there. If you're listening to this. Chances are you know about Bonfireside Chat, um, but if you didn't, 
you should go check it out yeah. because at, at this point, or at least near this point, um, they will have a whole new wave of stuff that is really for, for Dark Souls 2. Uh, once they're, you know, once they get good enough at the game to beat it. Yeah. Poor souls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, there's, there's obviously, uh, watch out for Fireball's retro video games podcast. There's Check It Out Comrade Indie Games podcast. Are you sensing a trend here yet? Hex Crank, a horror game blog. Ah, gotcha. It wasn't a podcast. Um, and a whole bunch of others that, that's, that's just in the video game category. There's a whole bunch of others that I'm not thinking of. Those damn Ross kids. Um, the pitch is kind of wound down, but, uh, it's, it's still good listening. It's timeless. Uh, and then, yeah, so check us out there. And uh, of course, always go to, uh, to Amazon, um, or rather go to our, uh, page duckfeed.tv slash tip jar. If you go to Amazon, uh, go to Amazon through the link on that page and you can kind of, uh, buy stuff at your normal price, but give us a kickback, which is amazing. Uh, be a great way to support the network and, uh, and yeah, leave us a rating review on iTunes. I'm uh, I'm like really flailing here because I don't usually do the admin. No, I think you're you're doing uh, good because I, 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 yeah. I listen to enough of them. So, <laughs> well, God, you actually listen to the end? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. So sorry. No. <laughs> uh... Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's all the ways you can you can find uh, find me, find Murph, and um, you know enjoy more of our content. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think just to to close out the the show. Um, we'll do our, our standard sign off. So I am Dennis Furia at D Furia on Twitter. And I'm Murph, uh, at Dork Knight Show and at Bad Controller OP. Speaking of uh, which, are you, have you, are you going to teach that kid right? I, I will Game, see. GameCube is not a, uh, good controller. At this point, I might just miseducate him out of spite. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta put my image here. Gotta, I've, uh, I've dug into this position. <laughs> I gotta, just... gotta die on that hill. That's right. That's uh, right. <laughs> Uh, Thank you all so much for listening, and have fun playing Dark Souls 2. Way too cold, right? Are you you still snowed? Snow on the ground? No, get this. It is 70 degrees today. Wow. It was legit like swimming weather today, and tomorrow we're supposed to get two inches of snow. So I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's like, See, I was like, oh, yeah, it was 70 here too. Yeah, like, no, I no. I, take, I, take, I go to work in the morning. I take my heavy coat. I take my medium coat. I take my tank top. I take you know a couple you know rounds of ammunition just in case the zombie apocalypse happens. We, yeah. had, tonight, we had a nasty zombie front come through the other day. Oh, man. But it's, it's Cincinnati, so it only lasts for two days, and then it's gone. So <laughs> – See, we've got Georgia with all those Walking Dead characters who are superhuman to buff uh-huh. us. So. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got two cats, so I'm on the other end of the spectrum Uh-oh. from you. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. I, I lived with a cat for a bit. And yeah, my you don't really you don't really own a cat. You more I like saying it that way. Lived with a cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are briefly subservient to a cat, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, like one of it was like. It was my roommate's cat, and it was one of the more affectionate type of cats. Yeah, but okay. But then, yeah. you know, it had just like that distance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, I don't want you to pet me. I want to walk away from you while you try to pet me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want you to want me, essentially. <laughs>